What's up, everybody? So, welcome back to the RWG OSD. <laughs> Hello, you have reached Plus 3 with rwgresearch.com. Open and store that energy. So, today I want to be talking about electrical wires. Right now, I kind of want to move this electrical wire. Anyway, uh, so I hope this is going to be all right footage. Filming it on the GoPro, and I'm not sure how well it's going to work, so give it a shot. So check it out. I'm going to tell you a little short story. All right, the short story goes like this. I was trying to order some connectors, and I found this website. Um, it's Phoenix, and I it's NT, Phoenix, NT, it's this place. Anyway, so I, I found this place and I ordered a bunch of uh, a bunch of connectors because they were like dirt cheap, very 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 cheap, and there was no minimum order, and they had the few different things that I was looking for, and I didn't really want to buy a kit of these type of connectors. I wanted to buy a few special connectors, as well as uh, as well as ribbon cable connectors and all different sizes and stuff. So really, exactly what I was looking for. And I forgot to order or missed order or something happened and I totally left out one of the most important four pin connectors that I needed. So the individual who owns this place hand delivered these to me later um, because the store is relatively close. Um, he said there's no, there's no will call orders but he was heading my way and uh, he was kind enough to do that, which I thought was was pretty amazing. So, <laughs> and he gave them to me. He didn't even make them pay me, pay for them. Uh, so that's, that tells you sort of uh, the, the guy who runs the place plus uh, the, the items are pretty, pretty inexpensive. So anyway, I wanted to give my shout out because it's really cool that he actually hand delivered the, 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 uh, the parts to me. So anyway, so let's let's look at really really quickly what I have, okay? So it'd be easier to move the camera. So I have these these uh, these type of connectors, and they do lock. Here are the housings, and then you have to crimp the pins on. So I have four pin, I have three pin, I have two pin, and then I have some of these ATX connectors, which are a little bit uh, a little bit more bulky. A little bit more beefy. I'm going to use these for the um, uh, the hot end connection. Okay, and then I have these 20 pin crimp on connectors uh, plus the solder header connectors. So that's really most of the connectors. Now I really, really, really like these bullet connectors. These I got. These connectors I'm about to show you came from a different place, but that's just because I didn't have them. So these are bullet connectors. These are three millimeter bullet connectors. They're basically the same thing as a, a banana plug, but these are pretty compact. And I'll actually, I was originally gonna use these instead of the ATX because I can just solder these right on there. I'm still using these for certain things because they're compact and easy to work with. Just put your wire in there, you can solder it, and then it becomes a banana plug like you see right here on the end of your, uh, your equipment and stuff. Um, and then the last connector, I guess I should have opened that, but the last connector is one of these connectors. And I'll, I'll show you a video of me putting this together, either before this video or now. But anyway, this is a very small um, crimp type ribbon cable connector with, uh, with locking latches. So I'm really hoping that that works out for me. Uh, what else? I thought that was something else, but I don't remember anymore. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to show you my crimps. So these are my uh, these are my crimp connectors that I that I got, and yeah, they work really well. I've already crimped the wires on for the motors, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Basically, these are locking, and these were I don't know twenty something dollars. So they. They latch shut, which is really, really helpful. 
and on the inside there's actually two different um, two different dies in there one is a little bit um, thicker on one side and that's for crimping the wire versus crimping the shielding plus wire and because it locks you know you you know you got it tight enough which is in my opinion a well not a must but a really helpful thing when you're going to be crimping a lot of these connectors so I'll show you in detail how these crimp connector uh, crimp connectors work but for now I'm not too concerned and what I did was make up some of these uh, cardboard circuit boards and I'm going to populate them because I want to put them in the printer and make sure everything's gonna fit right before I go making the circuit boards uh, it's just sort of to get me a reference for where everything's gonna be because I want to start crimping wires but I don't have the circuit boards made yet so let's do that Okay, so I didn't mention this, but I am now. I went to eBay and found some really nice dampeners. These are motor dampeners for stepper motor drivers, if you've never seen them. Uh, this was suggested by a few people, and I thought I'd give it a try. I've seen these before. I have some in stock from old equipment. These almost look used, but I really can't tell. They seem to be new, but the seller kind of says they don't, they, it doesn't really say, and it was in LA, which is where I'm at, so I bought some. So anyway, adding that to the list, I did put these on, so any audio you hear or anything that you see in these clips next is actually because I bought these and put them on, but I didn't really tell you. So look, these are 16 bucks for four of them. Three motors and one extruder. Can't beat that, and the quality of these are actually really good, and they were pretty local, so I recommend them, but uh, I don't know how many they got. I don't know how long they're coming, but there you go. I'm in the shed at home I'm tired hey what's up everybody welcome back to the electrical section of this so I'm wiring up these motors as you can see and it is well a challenge I went a couple different routes I tried to get the wire here through the hole and then out and have the plug on the bottom side of this thing um, that didn't work because the plug that I used, which I wanted this this particular plug, uh, it barely fits in the channel. So uh, I figured out the hole that I have happens to be just the right size for this plug. And making these extremely short, I'll add one more heat shrink layer on here, I think. But by adding these, making these extremely short, okay, I can actually push. I gotta get the wires fed right, but I can actually push this one down in that hole. I can plug this one into it like this. And yes, this is not an easy thing. Alright, so it is where is it? Almost plugged in. Well, anyway, this is a bit difficult to do with one hand. But anyway, that plugs in there, and it's basically flush, and it disappears. You cannot see the wire from down here anywhere. Anyway, next time I do this, I will, I will add somewhere where I can just run the motor wire up into my box that I made and plug it in. That, that was a... That was a lesson learned. This is not the, this is not really the way I would have do it, to do it originally. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. And this is okay for what I got. Yeah. 
Ah, there we go. So this actually fits in that hole. Just like that. And everything goes away. That is a tight squeeze, let me tell you. Terrible camera work, sorry. Ah. Okay, so I've temporarily made up these false circuit boards with the, the header pins and everything on them, connectors. Uh, there's still a few missing connectors. For, for the most part, everything is there. Um, and I did that because I want to really check the fit. So I want to actually put this in there and see how it is. I ain't going to do it now. Got stuff. The stuff to do, other things to do. Anyway, these are double sided. And yeah. Now, what else I did was I printed these covers. And these covers fit really nicely. That's an extra. Fit really nicely where they need to go. So, for instance, this is the, the bottom shield. Of course, this is going to be hard to do one-handed, but, you know, you get the idea. I'm not going to force it on there because it's not perfect, but, yeah. And that fits in there, and everything else disappears. Oh, yeah. It's late at night, so i got to be quiet. So I just wanted to show you sort of getting the wires organized here. I popped in a couple of these uh, fake circuit boards so I could kind of get an idea of where things were going to go here, how connectors were going to be made and how much space I really have. And I think it's going to work, but yeah, it's a challenge. But I um, folded these backwards like this and kind of twisted them up. And then they go, they go right through the hole and they're not bound up against anything or twisted really sharply. So it's a controlled, controlled bend. And uh, yeah, then they fit right in there. And this guy goes right here on the bottom. So, anyway, I kind of made the mistake. I thought originally I put the, these connectors against the edge, but I actually put them against the wrong edge. So now, all the pins that go in here that have to be interfaced right there that aren't there, this is going to sort of cover that up. So, I'll have to bend this up and over and around or something, which is kind of a pain, but hey, live and learn. But yeah, it's coming along. So I tried several different ways to uh, to get the motor mount plugs in here and I ended up basically you can see the wires way back in there but I basically had to end up putting the plug in the hole so the plug is actually you know facing this way inside the channel inside the hole it all fits together really compactly down in there you can't even see it if I did this again, I'd definitely make the <laughs> make the motor leads come all the way up here and plug into a board, but I just failed to make that connection, and because the wires were too short, I couldn't actually get them up here. They only were about this long. Eh, that's fine though. I mean, it'll work. It's just, if I did it again, I'd definitely do it a little different. So I 3D printed these plastic covers. They actually do have a tiny little bubble on them, although you can't see it and they do have a little corner where you can get uh, like a flat edge where you can get a knife in there and pop them out so I got three blanks for the top and I've got one with just the Hall effect one that has the uh, 24 pin connector in the Hall effect and then this one here has the uh, motor the hot end and the Hall effect so these are actually hollow on the bottom where these are actually solid on the bottom and that's because 
when you make the circuit boards there's going to be pins sticking out of the bottom and those pins sticking out of the bottom actually need a place to go which happens to be inside here so this is actually you know like two layers thin I think something like that half a half a millimeter I believe so let me pop these in because I want to show you what they look like because it's freaking amazing all right due to the fact that the cardboard is a tiny bit uh, too thick it, they kind of stick out a fraction but uh, yeah that's pretty cool they fit on there just nice just right I'll cover everything up all right so here it is before I pop the top covers on it's a mess all right so there's two of them on and just to show you how nicely these fit just like that and the wires disappear top and the bottom Man, that looks good wish I had better lighting right now because it really looks nice anyway more to do but wow fits nicely alright so there it is with the uh, the hull effect sensors on there they're not like that light but anyway they're just kind of dangling on there they look a little funny but you can get to the adjustments and then you can also set the uh, see the light indicators and I may try to find some shorter uh, pen connectors these are pretty long so if I find some shorter ones it'll be a little higher but that's pretty cool so these are the same style pen crimp connectors that uh, I showed you on the 40 pin IDE connector we used on the uh, the panel touch interface it's in that box um, so you can see there's just pins inside of here and those pins literally just crimp and catch those wires and they actually pinch pinch the wires catch the uh, conductor on the inside of the coating so let's go ahead and put this on here I think I'm gonna make it come up and around and plug in so I can just pop it off like this and have enough room to get in there to those other connectors I think that'll work okay so I've got my parallel pliers you can see that they're not crimped on there just yet so what I'm gonna do is just give this a little squeeze and you can actually watch what happens there we go now we are crimped that's it simple as that we'll cut the end off but yeah pretty straightforward so I left these super extra long because I'd rather have to you know plug it in like this and smash all this wire in there rather than uh, these be too short because this is the only chance I get so I can always cut these down you can pop these back off and recrimp them so yeah there we go we'll cut the end off there and call it good so I actually like using a razor blade and clean cutting the edge of the connector off that seems to work okay the only thing you got to be careful with is making sure that you don't have a wire that doesn't get cut all the way and shorts out to one next to it okie dokie Hall effect ends are officially crimped on here yep got all three of those done those actually get plugged in right here in the end right there ish so yeah only thing we got left is these I'm gonna do those another day 
So I don't quite know yet exactly where this is going to go, but I do want to go ahead and crimp the wires on here for some other things. So I went ahead and crimped them on here. I did use the ohm meter continuity checker and found the right pins. You can actually get a hold of the wire just by pushing up against the end here. So that's what I did. So now we take a uh, continuity checker. Uh, I dropped the other leads over here. Ah. So that one's hopefully not going to move on me. We can go up here. Ah. It's not touching. Anyway, you get the point. So I've checked these and make sure they're the right orientation. So now we'll do this one. Oh, such a big mess. Such a big mess. Mama not going to be happy. Not going to be happy. I got to clean all this stuff up. It's currently 12.52 a.m. I'm going to take a shower. And then I'll clean this stuff up. Hey, it's looking real good though. Progress report. I'm temporarily connecting everything with jumpers. Um, so I've done the same up here for the end stops. I want to do some testing. So I'm going to go ahead and solder the... Uh, some old leads onto the end of these wires instead of wasting the cramps and plug everything in so I can run some tests but yeah mama ain't gonna be real happy I still gotta do the dishes it's not done yet it's not done yet priorities are all messed up man yeah well you get what you get one day at a time one day at a time